Thank you. Thanks, Victoria. Welcome, everybody. Um, great to see so many people here. Um, there are going to be about 250 of you uh, coming and going through this uh, conference. And I'd obviously like to welcome those of you who are here at the University of Salford, and particularly uh, those of my colleagues on the academic staff who are here as well. But I'd especially like to mention those who have come from other universities in the region, from MU, Manchester, UCLan, Birmingham, Huddersfield, I think. Um, this is really important because what we do in universities is build networks between institutions. Research doesn't really know any institutional boundaries. Um, it's about getting out there and making the connections, building up a community of practice, getting involved with other people. So we really welcome those of you who are joining us from other universities um, as well. This is the uh, 14th Spark Conference, uh, so we're very proud of that. And I'd particularly like to thank Victoria and everybody who's worked very hard to make this happen. Um, you will all know that a lot of work goes into getting things sorted out, and it's a great program um, over the next couple of days. I think that the emphasis on theory, practice, and impact is particularly appropriate uh, at this time. Um, clearly, um, you'll all know, because you're busy studying it, um, that the PhD is kind of a really odd thing, isn't it, that you've got to do. It's a sort of a very strange animal all in itself. I mean, no one in real life actually talks like a PhD, and hopefully once you've finished it, you'll never write like a PhD again, but it's a sort of rite of passage that you've got to go through, uh, and they're things that you have to do. So you have to have the theoretical bit, don't you? Um, and you have to be able to state your research problem, and those of you who sat down with your uh, advisors will know the advisor will have told you, you know, you've got to write the theory chapter, you've got to write the objectives chapter, and I rather think it's rather like a sandwich, you know, you've got to do that, you've got to do the bits in the middle, and then you've got to have a nice zippy conclusion at the end, and then it's done, isn't it? Uh, you hand it in, you have your viva, you get a certificate, hopefully you come to the graduation, hopefully I shake your hand, um, and uh, then off you go. Um, but it, it's really useful to reflect on what that means, and I think the, the focus on theory and practice is really important because it helps you to share with each other and to reflect on exactly what that means for your discipline. And the exciting thing about a conference like this is it gives you the opportunity to listen to people who may not be studying in your particular area but have got great ideas from a different discipline. And I've watched as people I have made quite um, unintuitive connections between disciplines where somebody, for instance, who might uh, be looking um, at an issue in uh, English literature uh, becomes inspired by somebody uh, who as, is looking at something in law. Uh, and look out for those connections because they can be really valuable. But the piece that's also particularly interesting, which is the subject of the opening panel here, is the emphasis on impact. And I'm really pleased to see that here. Um, impacts become important um, in all parts of the world in terms of the way that uh, research is funded. And we're seeing this a great deal in Britain. So the research councils are asking across all disciplines what's impact. Um, some people find that very threatening uh, and have suggested that it somehow impacts on academic freedom, takes academic freedom away. But others have seen it as a clear opportunity. Now, in some of your areas, uh, the impact will be evident to you. So if you are working, say, in the built environment, uh, such as many of you are, the very reason you're doing your uh, subject is because it's about the impact that what you're studying can make. Um, but what's really interesting and what will be fascinating in this panel here uh, is that you're going to hear that impact applies uh, uh, across that range of disciplines from everything from disaster resilience to creative writing. And that's something that we've concentrated on a lot at this university and I really endorse that approach because I think if we can demonstrate how important our work is, whether you're doing it as a PhD or whether you're doing it as a, in a, in a postdoctoral environment, if we can show the value of what we do more generally, uh, we're much more likely to feel good about it ourselves uh, and also to get appropriate support for it uh, in general terms. I'd like to say a particular um, message of welcome to our international students here. Um, we're very proud that we have over 2,000 international students here uh, at the University of Salford from over 100 different countries. Um, it's really important to us that you are here, and I know that my colleagues from other universities uh, would share that welcome. Um, it's particularly important because research and scholarship should be an international discipline. It's not confined to country borders. 
And having international students with us um, really creates that mingling of ideas uh, that's so important for taking great research forward and building great connections um, in terms of doctoral research. So again, it's, it's very good to see this as a truly uh, international event because that's what universities uh, should all be about.